Now, this screen, security, has all sorts of um, different numbers here. <laughs> and uh, they all mean different things, but it's all related to the security of your server. When um, your server works, it monitors all sorts of different parameters, like, for example, how many IPs simultaneously connect um, to your server, how many total connections do you have, uh, the length of the line, and so on. Let's go over them one by one, and I'll explain what it means, what each of them means. Obviously, if you just hover over it, it has the explanation here in the tooltip, and it also is in health, but I'm going to explain it again. Now, this is the maximal number of simultaneously open connections from the same IP. What's happening is um, a lot of spammers use um, big multi-threaded uh, programs to spam your servers and different servers. So uh, if the server notices something like that, like for example, uh, what are the chances of a normal user um, sending messages uh, to your server from 20 threads? Uh, close to zero, right? He sends one message and that's it. If, uh, if you're getting, uh, let's say, 20, 20 connections from the same IP and you get in the 21st connection, then there probably is something suspicious here. So. Um, and in order for, for us not to waste the resources of the server because they are limited, um, we are going to reject any connection from coming from the same IP uh, after this number, after the 20th connection, for example, or if you configure it to be 50, after the 50th connection. And you can obviously um, configure it to any number you want. And this is very useful uh, in order for you to limit the number of connections it cannot be indefinite. It cannot be any number you want. Now, let's go on to this one. This is the maximum number of recipients. A lot of spammers, they just, you know, beginner spammers, I should say, they, they stuff um, hundreds and hundreds of emails in uh, two CC and BCC sections, and they send it through the server. So this one limits the number of uh, this is the total number between all three, between two, CC, and BCC. And it's going to reject any mail, any message uh, that has more than 100 uh, emails in the two, CC, and BCC together. You can set it to anything you want, of course, but um, 100 is default. Now, the next one is the maximal message size in bytes. Uh, this is in bytes. And uh, remember that bytes, uh, like uh, kilobyte, is not... Uh, a thousand bytes, right? It's a thousand twenty-four because uh, a byte has eight bits, not ten bits. Right? Just remember that. It's a minor change. It's not that significant, but still, um, this is the maximum message of uh, maximum size of one message, right? Not the total queue holding area of all messages. It's just for one single message. So, if the message is bigger than uh, twenty megabytes, in this case. Right? It, it cannot pass. We will not pass messages that are two gigabytes, for example. We don't want to do, to do that. Not only because it's too big for us, but uh, even if we pass it, uh, most of the other servers, like if you, if you send it to Gmail, Gmail will kick it out. They, they will reject it. And any other servers, they usually have uh, a limit between five megabytes to 20 megabytes. Anything bigger than that, is probably not going to pass most of the servers. Now, there are some ex exceptions. There are some uh, cases I've seen. Uh, for example, uh, uh, if you have um, a photocopier that automatically sends the scanned document attached by email, right, and the document is pretty large, then it could be exceeding the 20 megabyte, and you can obviously change this. Now, um, would I recommend it? No, because... Um, most of the time, it's going to be uh, bogged down by something else, by a later server. Like, for example, if you send it to Gmail or AOL or something else, they will reject it. Now, the next one is the maximal length of a single line in the SMTP protocol. Now, this one, uh, I see it a lot when uh, <laughs> people create their own SMTP clients and they start mailing it. 
they don't follow all the uh, standards of the SMTP protocol. And this one line usually, they, they just take a whole message and put it into one line, one big line. Uh, one message into one line, if it's 20 megabytes, it's going to definitely exceed it. Now, according to the standard, according to the standard, it's recommended that the length of the single line would be no longer than 80 characters. And if you see those um, big messages, um, let's say if you go to the log file, oh, I erased it. So if you go, so if you go to the log file and you see um, a message, let's say this message, oh, this is not a message. You see this message, you can see that it's pretty much square. It's because it, it was actually split by uh, by this uh, range, approximately 60, 80 characters. Now, by default, in my server, I allow 3,000. So it's much higher. It's like 30 times the recommended limit. But if it, if it goes even over that limit, then it means that there's something wrong with the mail client. You, you should worry about the mail client. Of course, you can increase it. Of course, it's up to you. You can increase it. But, you know, I would definitely worry about the mail client because I pass the message as is. Like whatever comes to me, I do not touch the message in any way. I just pass it as is. So even if I pass it, if you change my settings here, if my server passes it, the server down the line that accepts it may, may, uh, may not accept it, may reject it actually. So might as well uh, you know, take this into consideration. The next one is the maximal number of connections to the server. Now this is different from this one, maximal number of simultaneously open connections from the same IP. This is the total number of simultaneously open connections, the total number. And this is the number of connections from the same IP. This is usually smaller than this because you can have multiple IPs connecting to your server simultaneously and relaying messages. This should be in the ranges of like a couple of hundreds. And this one should be maybe 10 or 20 maximum. So it limits you from the same IP and it limits the server in general in total. So any connection after a hundred is going to be rejected with a temporary error. A temporary error means that the server that sends to you this message will be able to reconnect later and resend the message when the server is going to be less busy. 